Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Ancient Gear Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for Post Legacy of Destruction. We got some pretty awesome new Ancient Gear cards to help with the initial setup of the deck as a whole, being able to really get some monster, you know, swarm into the deck to help with some more play styles, I would say, in the deck and setting up the initial Ancient Gear fusion setup and having search for more of the Ancient Gear spells, including the new use of our main deck boss monster, Ancient Gear, Dark Golem. You even have some more setup to use with some Earth Machine-like cards, but I could always do a different deck profile that focuses more on that setup, but we're going more of the pure Ancient Gear build with this setup. So big thanks to my buddy Anthony for letting me borrow his Ancient Gears for the deck profile, but let's go ahead and get started. So we'll go ahead and start off with the main deck monsters. We're starting off with one copy of the original Ancient Gear Golem. I think that's all we need for the the initial setup because the new ancient gear dark golem does count as ancient gear golem while on the field or in the graveyard so we only really need the one copy of the original for more of the summons that we could rely on with cards needing the original ancient gear golem still from the extra deck for our new card we're running two copies of ancient gear dark golem this card's name becomes ancient gear golem while on the field or in the graveyard if this card's normal or special summon you can add up to two cards ancient gear cards and or gear town from your deck to your hand except for ancient gear dark golem then discard one card also you cannot set cards for the rest of this turn you can only use this effect of ancient gear dark golem once per turn if this card attacks your opponent cannot activate spell or traps until the end of damage step so you just have more surge power whenever you would just summon this card out onto the field including special summon so it just gives you a much better resource to search out specific ancient gear cards including cards like the new spell ancient gear advance for more and more use for all the different continuous spells monsters you name it to go into fusion plays that we have in the deck still running the three copies of ancient gear wyvern as well if it's normal or special summon, you can add one ancient gear card from your deck to your hand except for ancient gear wyvern also you cannot set cards for the rest of this turn and then also if this card attacks your opponent's monster effects cannot be activated until the end of damage step so just call it a mini searcher compared to ancient gear dark golem but still good for grabbing some of the more needed spells that we have in the deck as well with our other three of being three copies of ancient gear frame you can discard one card to add one ancient gear golem or one spell trap that specifically lists the card ancient gear golem and its text from your deck to your hand you can use this effect of ancient gear frame once per turn if this card attacks your opponent can activate spell or trap effects till the end of damage step and if this phase of card leaves the field because of an opponent's card you can special summon up to three ancient gear golem and or ancient gear golem ultimate pound from your hand ignoring their summoning condition so just having more set up for some of your other Ancient Gear cards, including Ancient Gear Golem, just gives you more of the reliance of this card to summon onto the field. Well, also just being able to add Ancient Gear Golem or Spell and Trap that list it just by discarding another card. Some of the other new cards that we run in the deck include Ancient Gear Commander, which we're running two copies of. You can send one Ancient Gear Golem from your hand, deck, or face up in the monster zone to the graveyard. <coughs> Excuse me. With this card to then immediately after normal summon one ancient gear monster if you normal or special summon ancient gear golem except during the damage step you can special summon one ancient gear golem from your hand or graveyard ignoring its summoning conditions you can banish this card from your graveyard to place one ancient gear continuous trap from your hand or face up on your to from your hand face up on your field you can use this effect of ancient gear commander once per turn so the use of commander can help us set up ancient gear duel face up on the field and this card can be easily searched with some of our other cards in the deck but ancient gear commander also being able to summon back our ancient gear dark golem from the graveyard can then activate the initial search power of dark golem because it just has to be special summoned to be able to add its initial two of of different ancient gear cards and also two copies of ancient gear tanker if this card is normal or special summon you can special summon one ancient gear monster from your hand except for ancient gear tanker ignoring its summoning conditions or if your opponent controls a monster you can special summon from your graveyard instead once again grabbing the ancient gear monsters that i mentioned before just when you normal or special summon this card and then also with this card if your opponent controls a monster you can special summon this card from your graveyard instead you can target one phase of card you can control destroy it also for the rest of this turn all monsters you control that are ancient gear or mention it gain 600 attack having an attack boost with ancient gear tanker but just once again being able to grab it makes it one of the more searchable cards you want to go for because then it can just help with more and more monster swarm from your initial cards including cards like ancient gear commander and then also being able to be able to search it since you can just use cards like ancient gear wyvern to add it to your hand also 
And then also two copies of Ancient Gear Hunting Hound. If it's normal summon, inflict 600 damage to your opponent. If it attacks, your opponent can activate spell traps until the end of damage step. And once per turn, you can fusion summon one Ancient Gear Fusion Monster from your extract using monsters from your hand or field as a fusion material. Going into some of the easier fusions, including our burn damage and protection setup, like Ancient Gear Howitzer, being able just to summon this card out with two Ancient Gear Monsters, or you being able to use more Ancient Gear cards, including the use of Ancient Gear Gold for a hand to go into cards like Ancient ultimate gear golem as well and then lastly for the main deck monsters one copy of ancient gear box if it's added from the deck or greater to the hand except by drawing it you can add one earth machine with 500 attack and or defense from your deck to your hand so after you add this initial card you can add the newly searched out ancient gear commander off of this card so if this card is searched off one of your other ancient gear cards you can just extend your plays more and more with your cards to then have the initial search of ancient gear commander off of ancient gear box also and that is it for the main deck monsters. We'll now move on to the spells. Running three copies of the new Ancient Gear Advance. When this card's activated, add one Ancient Gear Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. Except for Ancient Gear Advance, once per turn, you can tribute one monster, draw one card, and apply this effect for this rest of the turn. You can normal summon an Ancient Gear Golem or a level five or higher monster that mentions it without tributing. So once again, another card to have the initial effect of this card being able to be used. Sets up that play much easier just to summon out Ancient Gear Dark Golem onto the field as well or just go for the level five or higher monster that mentions without that tributing and then you cannot set cards that reactivate this but still that is the restriction we get with a good amount of other ancient gear guards to begin with also three copies of ancient gear catapult while you control no monsters target one face-up card you control destroy it if you do special summon one ancient gear monster from your deck ignoring its summoning conditions and you can banish this card from your graveyard target one face-up card you control destroy it and special summon one ancient gear token on the field giving you the ancient gear token can also help you go into different link monsters like our ancient gear Lista, but Catapult being able to destroy other cards, including our Gear Town, which I have two copies and then the one copy of Terraforming. If you wanted to run three Gear Town, you could just take out the one spot for Terraforming for this card as well. Being able to, when this card is destroyed, you can special summon one Ancient Gear Monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard, it's giving you resources once again just to summon back, including our Great New Searcher, Ancient Gear Dark Golem, from the graveyard back onto the field. I also run two copies of Ancient Gear Fortress. During the turn, they were normal or special summon. Your opponent cannot target Ancient Gear monsters you control with card effects, and they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And also, if this card is destroyed in the spell trap card zone, you can special summon one Ancient Gear monster from your hand or graveyard. Another target as well for Ancient Gear Catapult, if need be, for a face-up card to destroy with an added benefit effect. Also, two copies of Ancient Gear Fusion. There are just so many Ancient Gear cards to run the deck. Fusion, summon one Ancient Gear Fusion monster from your extract using monster from your hand or Field as fusion material. If you use Ancient Gear Golem or Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound, you control. You can also use monsters from your deck as material. So giving you resources from the deck as a lot of famous fusion spells are meant to do. This one included just to go for some of the bigger fusion plays. For some of the more generic spells in the deck, running three copies of Forbidden Droplet. This one especially comes in handy when you go second against your opponent, being able to then just have a plethora of resources on the field to then activate Forbidden Droplet, sending them to the graveyard, and then being able to stop and weaken a good number of your opponent's monsters on their side of the field and also two copies of lightning storm for clearing out your opponent's field because then you can get out some of your bigger boss monsters and hit for game quite quickly against your opponent also and two copies of triple tactics talent if they try to hand trap any of your searches you at least can go for more of a draw and hopefully draw into some of the more important ancient gear cards to make use of with our one ofs for our spells being one copy of call by the grave one monster reborn and the one foolish burial with with our only trap that we run in the deck being the one copy of the new Ancient Gear Duel. Since this card can be placed face up thanks to our Ancient Gear Commander, this card can also be searched with some of the other cards that we run in the deck, like Ancient Gear Frame. Ancient Gear Golem and monsters that mention it in your monster zone are unaffected by your opponent's activated monster effects. If your opponent controls a monster, you can fusion summon one fusion monster that mentions Ancient Gear Golem from your extract by banishing the monsters from your field or graveyard as material, including Ancient Gear Golem. You control, and if you can make up to three attacks during each battle, Phase. So this is why I also like Forbidden Droplet in the deck, because then you can have those resources on your field, send them off of Droplet as long as you have Ancient Gear Duel set up. You can then use the ones from the graveyard for the Banished to summon out some of your bigger monsters, and then those Ancient Gear monsters can attack three times against your opponent as well. This is meant to be the bigger play that he used as well against Jaden with the three attack Ancient Gear Golem, but still just a one of since it can be easily searched. That's it for the main deck for the extract, two copies of Ancient Gear Howitzer. 
there, needing two ancient gear monsters unaffected by other card effects, and also being able to have the initial burn damage and special summon for your other ancient gear cards. Two copies of Ancient Gear Chaos Giant with its spell and trap protection, 4500 attack, and just needing four Ancient Gear monsters. This one can definitely be summoned quite easily with the Banish effect of Ancient Gear Duel or sent off of Ancient Gear Fusion. And also the one copy of Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem and the one Megaton Golem. Just different options for the restrictions and protections that your different Ancient Gear monsters may have on the field. With our Link monsters being one copy of Ancient Gear Ballista and the one copy of Platinum Gadget. More special summon resources from the hand, just needing two machine monsters monsters with platinum gadget and when ballista is special summon you can add one ancient gear monster or one gear town from your deck to your hand having search for more resources to use as well and then you can target a spell trap you control and one face a monster your opponent controls destroy that target you control and one face a monster your opponent control and then change that opponent's monster attack to zero making it so then you can destroy your own card summoning it out an ancient gear monster off of the destroyed spell that you may have used similar to catapult and then swing into your opponent's monster also the one copy of nightmare cerberus the one bear Arcade board blocker, one IP Mascarina, SP Little Knight, and then for the last of the links, one Nightmare Unicorn, with our only XCs monsters being the one Baguska and the one Typhon for the plays to go into over special summons or our generic level fours. As for some of the go-to plays in the deck, the search power of what you can grab with your specific Ancient Gears definitely does come up for more of the setup that you may need for the lineup with Ancient Gear Wyvern being able to grab one of the better cards to use. So you can summon out Wyvern, then adding your Ancient Gear Advance to your hand. And then with this card, you can activate your Ancient Gear Advance. When it's activated, add one Ancient Gear Spell Trap from your deck to your hand, except for Ancient Gear Advance. So then you have access to some of your other plays, including your Ancient Gear Catapult. And then also use the tribute option as well to tribute your Ancient Gear Wyvern to normal summon an Ancient Gear monster, level 5 or higher monster that mentions it without tributing. So then you can summon out your Ancient Gear Dark Golem. When this card is summoned, you can add two cards with Ancient Gear and or Gear Town from your deck to your hand except for Ancient Gear Dark Golem. You can then with this add your Ancient Gear Box and one additional monster, which could be either your Ancient Gear Tanker or even your Ancient Gear Frame. Your Ancient Gear Box will then activate as well. You have to discard one so you could send one off for that initial play as well but with that you can then add your ancient gear commander to your hand as well and then from there you can activate the ancient gear catapult destroying the ancient gear advance to summon out your commander to the field and then with commander's effect you can special summon an ancient gear monster from your hand or graveyard ignoring its summoning conditions you can summon out ancient gear box off of that play and then you can banish this card from your graveyard which then you could just use to go for a link to play setting up two more in your graveyard to then summon out your ancient gear ballista the commander in your graveyard for the banish you then be able to banish it to place the continuous trap face up which then you can use then and there you already have three ancient gear monsters in your graveyard so all you would need is one initial setup for that play which can either be done with a fusion play or an initial link play to set up more and more in the graveyard as well or you can just use the monsters from your field or graveyard so then you could just have your monsters ready to go on the field the three banished from the graveyard along with the other ballista to get out your bigger boss monster ancient gear being your ancient gear chaos gear giant which can then also attack for three times against your opponent so definitely one of the bigger plays just using some of the more generic lineup for the ancient gear cards but that is it for the deck profile i hope you all enjoyed once again big thanks to my buddy anthony for letting me borrow his ancient gears for the deck profile and as always until next time please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and kira twig out